So here we are again. Um, while my uh, last play session is uh, is still in the middle of uploading, with a few hours to go, I had an unexpected free day uh, or free night off. So I I felt like uh, coming back sooner. Anyway. Uh, I have done a few things uh, since the last um, adventure. I uh, I went back to a big mountain and uh, I left some more stuff behind. Open, open. Okay. Uh, I mean the suit look very nice but it talks too damn much also it weighs uh, more than I'm I'm willing to share uh, then I also left some of my uh, some of my weaponry behind in that uh, trailer uh, radio station whatever it's near uh, it's just uphill from uh, Prim uh, then I shed some some more stuff and I reached the conclusion that uh, I don't want to come back uh, to the main map not just yet and uh, I would like to uh, whether, whether I uh, will whether I will uh, get back with my companions or not I would like to um, go on with some solo stuff. So I have decided I will uh, go and take on the Happy Trails uh, add-on scenario. Oh, and uh, another thing. While in uh, while passing through Good Springs, I made sure that. Uh, I stowed enough plungers and uh, another knickknacks uh, to set my uh, readings to normal. I don't want to be second coming or something. Uh, don't worry, I put those plungers back. I don't want to carry around extra, extra shit, but uh, well, it counts as stealing even if I don't keep it. Anyway. Here I am again. Once again, I uh, tie the old uh, webcam to my uh, to my collar with a scarf and put a fresh piece of duct tape to the earphones. And who's that there? Okay, flies. I don't want flies. Anyway. Next stop will be that cave where the caravan starts from. If I can find it. I've been there before but I don't quite remember which way was it. Ah, oh, food, water. Fun fact: I still haven't uh, haven't even tried uh, to go inside. Oh, glitchy! It looks kind of kind of cool. Hey, I have a shadow. I I still haven't been in there. I just haven't bothered. graphics are back online. Mm. 
in this house there yes there was a piece of duct tape that I left behind and I will do it again I will take some beer so if I remember correctly the weight limit for the Happy Trails caravan was uh, 75 pounds let's see if my stuff needs some repairs casual wear for repairs because occasionally I, I use the business suit although now the, the big mountain experience and the improvements in uh, in all skills uh, has been has been so great that I probably don't even need to put on the uh, lawyer suit to get my speech up. Oh, let's check that. Check out the alien spaceship for a while. I think the ship is still hanging up there even though I care of the aliens themselves a long time ago. Oh, let's pick some food while we're at it. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> I decided to keep carrying the Red Slayer because it's basically binoculars uh, binoculars with bullets <laughs> and it uses the same kind of ammo as this gun so oh hey what do we have here okay I've got the ammo for this as well let's see now not the status <gasps> oh, this is in bad shape. I need to find some crap to repair it. Don't mind if I do. Okay, those are really good. Reading. I know the cave wasn't here, but I attempt that the cliffs from time to time. See if I can get past some spots that I haven't gotten past before. I, I noticed there uh, someone had uh, put a video on YouTube uh, with the title "How to Get Off the Map," and uh, I didn't I didn't watch the video, but uh, from the thumbnail it was clear that uh, it was uh, the place was near the uh, old air airfield which uh, makes a lot of sense because there there the map seems to have more glitches and cliffs and because I, I think I uh, when I got when I was uh, going uh, to that river, from coming from that direction, I covered some ground that uh, that wasn't meant for walking. 
maybe. I don't know. I, I know that I basically uh, just descended straight down from... Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, from those cliffs. And then... And then later I think I found some glitchy parts. But again, I'm not sure. Is this it? Yes. Okay then. Manual save. No, wait. Save, not continue. Save. And let's talk. Let's see if you you speak something new, Mr. Combover. Yeah, what's it this time? Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> That's where I grew up. 2-2, two, two, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you've been to Vault 2-2, two, two, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. <laughs> Truth is, I got the suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Ooh. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. <laughs> it ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. <laughs> so that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there an option where it says his isn't turned up on? Oh, I think I have already spoken. Though. Huh? Of course I noticed. <laughs> First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you've got one. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, <laughs> pit boy! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking <laughs> up. What are you after anyways? Wonder where I have heard that one before recently. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. <laughs> you wanna know what I do, toots? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. <laughs> I've been places, see? And done things. Lots of them. Like and probing. when it's time to kill shit up? Hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. That's my name. Are you also a lawyer, perhaps? Uh, how you think? <laughs> I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. <laughs> Why, uh, once I got jumped by. Three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. <laughs> Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the <laughs> eye. No, no, you heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws. But bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. <laughs> Last mistake he ever made. What's it sound like I'm saying? <laughs> if I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them Brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over. 
just to make him think I'm <laughs> scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter <laughs> machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye, slit in his helmet. Right in the eye. <laughs> there so is. It's a nine millimeter or a ten. I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. So I would bet the special ability is to uh, try saying something really gen generic and suggestive, and then let the, the other folk fill in the blanks with something exciting. I wonder where I have seen that one. Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop her, trout for her, you out her. on the trail after dark, sis. Let you see what you're working with. Know what I mean? Okay, this is where you have to look up uh, uh, action figure therapy uh, and uh, the story about uh, tactical fur testicle. But now, oh, let's go, Black Widow. Hey, that's man. What a <laughs> that was just being friendly. Yay! Of course you were. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go to chat. That combo over looks creepy. Hello. Are you here to join me a while longer? Are we ready to get this show on the road? I haven't noticed the goggles before. Is it cool? Are you now? Mm -hmm. You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, mm -hmm. right? And you know about the weight limit. Mm -hmm. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my <laughs> one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Mm-hmm. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high oh. rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant <laughs> crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Whoa. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. Okay. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. <laughs> Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders, good fighters too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. 
<laughs> but New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Wow, you got my attention. Wow. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. <laughs> and the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't... We've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Huh. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Wow. Okay. Quick save and let me check the map as well. Okay, this place doesn't seem very big, at least not at the first glance. I wonder if there are caves involved. Hmm, so... Let's see, are we hungry? Oh, we are irradiated. Apparently, we don't need sleep here in the caravan. Mention something a little bit. This should do. Ambush. Hostel? No, 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 I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot Jed either. I ain't gonna shoot anyone actually until I make some sense what happens here. Wait a second. Um, I wonder, is this supposed to happen? Ah, uh, now they are hostile. Okay, I'm going to reload and see if I can actually save some of them. still dead. I wonder if this is supposed to happen or not. I'm gonna make a manual save here and then still reload. 
and no wait Slayer was more accurate. I don't deserve this. My pit boy don't even work. Why the fuck did you hire me? Shut down, huh? Might as well be waving at him. Okay, let's take the torso. Oh, damn it, I'm much more accurate on my own. Okay, you were share it once, I heard that. Okay, that one's dead. And uh, let's let me try again. This time with a rat slayer. And one should be there. No. Die on me, woman. You hear? And still Jed is dead. Hmm. <laughs> so and still I can't tell if this is a, if like if they die anyway. Or if there's a way around it, let me try from right from the other same because I was kind of slow at the beginning. Okay, if I go first, and now say. Hmm. Oopsie. My pit boy don't even work. Why the fuck you hire me? Okay. And there should be one more. Damn it. Certainly looks like no matter what I do, the caravan is, is dead. <laughs> One more try from the order save. Time, let me make it really, really sure that. Do I have any steady? Steady, yes. Steady. Rebound. Broken beans. Emergency radium. Another uh, and quick save. Here's another suspicious thing. I didn't get hurt. So 
rebound. Now one over there. And one over Okay. There's still one more. Damn it. And still the whole crew is dead. And I don't even have a scratch, which is a very, very, very Very, very suspicious. So I suspect that this is indeed a um, cutscene that I can't really turn around. Okay, then uh, let me start looting then. Hmm. But if this is a wait. After the cutscene, the tribals turned hostile towards me as well. So that's probably it. I would have to kill them anyway. Hmm. Okay, let's. Let's make a little pause here and then. Uh, because I want to sip some tea and then. Uh, carry on from the situation as it is.